devastating. It was, it was terrible. The constant question for everyone that day is the platform there. I was not at the observatory when the Hurricane Maria. I have many friends here, um, many colleagues working here. Uh, I tried to contact them for weeks. We don't know what was going on. Going around the facility, it was floods everywhere, debris everywhere. It was at least one week that we couldn't think about anything else, just cleaning. It didn't matter if it was the director or if it was the janitor. Everyone, everyone was doing something, was cleaning, like sweeping, like cutting branches. We have our own water pumps, so when majority of the nearby community was out of the grid water service, they were able to come to the observatory and get the water from here. Puerto Ricans are very proud of their Civil Observatory, and especially after Hurricane Maria, uh, there's a sense of pride, community, and a lot of people were helping each other. The feeling that we are part of the community, that we are not isolated, and that was beautiful. We are human beings, and we were survivors of this huge event. We can find the asteroids' shapes and get some idea of their surface composition in terms of surface roughness or what they are made of. Some of the dish is still restored, which means that it doesn't reflect the signals as effectively. I think RSU has a huge future. There is not a limitation in the science that we can do here. This is an opportunity, maybe, to, instead of saying, we're going to build the same things, maybe, how can we do it better? We are trying to recover. People, what he's saying is, oh my goodness, if you are recovering, the island can recover.